and I still get asked this. It's one of my most um, asked questions on my Instagram is how I do my curls. Mm, baby, I like it like that. Okay. So I got this curler from China. The only rule you need to remember is your curls need to be away from you. Where there's some sort of like a void, I feel, that's there, which can only be filled with female friendships. Hi guys and welcome back to another video with me. something that's been long pending and I've been wanting to do it for a couple of years now and I still get asked this it's one of my most um, asked questions on my Instagram is how I do my curls so that's what I'm going to show you today I'm also in a little bit of a rush so I'll show you the faster version and I just thought that I'd chat with you guys while I do my curls and show you how it's done it's super easy shouldn't take more than 20 minutes at least on like my length hair and first things first, section out your hair. So I just like did a rough little top bun here and always start like this. I think I did straighten, blow dry my hair. You guys will be able to see, will be able to see the curls better than on my natural like unruly hair. So I got this curler from China eight years ago. So around 2016 was when I bought this and I got it for 20 RMB, which roughly converts to about 200 rupees. <laughs> I don't know if you can get a curler this good for that price anymore. And it's done a great job and I would use it quite regularly. So I don't think you need a Dyson to get perfect curls. Okay, so this is the first partition I'm taking. And the only rule you need to remember is your curls need to be away from you. So I always will curl in this direction and on this side I will curl in this direction, if that makes sense. So you don't have to like fully curl right up till the end because we're going for that like all natural, I want to say like American wavy look. I know it looks like this right now, but have faith, okay? <laughs> trust, the, trust the process as they say. I'm just being a bit haphazard today because I am in a rush like I said but usually I take my time with it it's, it's just fun to do it's just a bit also it's a bit therapeutic and just relax and you know something to do and to look good and feel good and here I'm going to do another two sections so the thickness of the hair that you want to take depends on how you want your curls to look since i'm going for a more like wavy look i would take like thicker sections but if you want the more like curly curly hair look then you can just take smaller sections like this sometimes i want a little curl in there to last longer so i will just do this the bottom section doesn't take me that long to be honest it's just the top section and I do have thick hair, so it just takes me a while. I try to make like more defined curls right at the front of my face, just cause I feel like that's more visible. So I want more, uh, I just want like a little more definition there. But at the back, I, don't, I really don't care how it looks. <laughs> And I like like wispy, strandy, just, you know, here and there, a bit of a messy look, if you will. And I've been using this since, you know how it was, like how it was super trendy to have like all straight hair and just curls at the bottom. <laughs> so I've been using this since then. And I used to do it only for the, and I used to curl only the bottom half of my hair. But slowly I realized that that doesn't work for me. And I know it works for other people, but it just didn't work for me. So you can already see a difference. So I have like four little locks here. And then this side is straight but that is how i typically do the bottom sections especially because i know that no one's going to be able to see that much it's just for a little like to add a little layer and now we go in so like i said always do it away from your face so the direction of the curl should be this way and i wouldn't do this way you know i would do this way 
It's just my way of doing it. By the way, you can experiment to do it however you feel like is right. Okay. I wish I could have done like a slower, you know, sit down with me, let's chat sort of a thing, but uh, it just isn't ideal <laughs> with Advait and just um, me and Sankal taking care of him, it's new. In fact, I feel like I haven't taken care of him at all because mom and dad were helping us out and, you know, taking care of Advait too. So it's just new for both of us to spend this much time <laughs> with him and to learn him and to understand him and get to know him better. I'm sure he's annoyed. <laughs> I'm sure he's annoyed with us and he probably feels like we don't get him as um, well as his grandparents did. But we're learning, we're getting there, we're taking it one day at a time. I've really noticed that it's like a, like a little copycat phase that we're in. So he's close to, he's 17 months now. Yeah, he's exactly 17 months now. And he started doing started copying us like literally doing every single thing that we do he wants to do the same thing so i've been really checking myself i haven't been using my phone as much in front of him uh, so that he doesn't have screen time i've been trying to be more present while being with him and just prioritizing him in that moment and his emotions so that he doesn't have you know tantrums so he doesn't feel like he isn't understood so even though there are like a few challenging moments i will just try to forget everything else in that second and tell myself nothing else is more important right now than Advait. so not you know not the errands that need to get done not the laundry nothing else not the dishes nothing <laughs> and that's been really helpful so as you can see on the right i've done every strand away from my face and this is how it's turning out. Lately, I've also noticed like how much of an appreciation I've gained for social media, especially because I just love connecting with people. It's just such a wonderful feeling, you know, to know that you're not in this alone and there are other people who are going through something similar that you are. In fact, the other day, uh, I was watching Tarun, one of Tarun and my um, old vlogs where we were singing, and it was during the lockdown when all of this started, when I started making these videos for YouTube. And I never thought in a million years that four years later, I would be sitting here with my son, like enjoying something that I sang four years ago. And, you know, Advait was like vibing to it <laughs> and waving his hands here and there. Okay, so bottom half is done. As you can see, super quick. Didn't take too much time. The top does take time. I usually decide where I want to part my hair. It's usually the middle, just because I like it like that. Mm, baby, I like it like that. Okay, and this is the top now. I think I took one, but it's fine. And here I will do the same thing. As you can see, my hair is like naturally just wavy and just does its own thing sometimes. But here I will take layers. Usually I try to take thinner layers, but today because I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm going to just be taking thicker layers and I, it takes me about like five curls to finish this like level, like each level. So it depends. Some, day, some days I just want like a big, poofy, like messy sort of a thing. So then I will just take thicker sections. Anyway, so I was saying that I was watching... Um, you know, mom and dad surprising us in those vlogs and everything from last year. And I realized that I am actually so grateful that we vlogged it um, or recorded it and have some sort of a document, some sort of a documentation of how it happened. And because now that I think about it, I have very little memory. Like I don't remember much of those newborn days with Advait and it's so precious now that we're here like 17 months later and I'm watching those videos still and it just reminds me of how far we've come you know and I'm someone who usually struggles with that like I struggle to celebrate things I've done in the past I'm always someone who looks towards the future and so it's just a nice reminder to be able to go back 
and I'm gonna be quite honest, I didn't even want to do these vlogs, okay? It was all Sankal. And yesterday, I actually went up to him and I said, thank you for like making sure we have all these moments on camera for us to watch back. Even if Advait might not understand it now or appreciate it, maybe, you know, someday when we're long gone and he wants to see the things he did as a child and he can go back and watch this stuff, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, I've lost track of like how many girls I did on this side. But if you're keeping track, thank you very much. Um, let me know because I've forgotten. So I can even stop right here and just do like a few more here. Okay, on to the next section. And this is just the top half. So you have to make sure it looks good. Another important trick that I can share with you is when you do this hold it when you hold it like for a few seconds and then when you let go instead of just leaving it i don't know if you guys have noticed but i will hold it scrunch the curl like hold it as a curl for a bit and then let it go it just stays longer that way and kind of gives you that wave that you're looking for lately i just feel like such a new person like i feel like i'm finding myself again and the first um year of postpartum was just all it's a bit foggy, you know, I didn't feel like myself truly. Um, and now actually, I don't even, I don't think I feel like myself. I feel like a new me. There's this part of me, which is just so free now. And I just want, I just want to share more of myself with you, with more people. I want to make more friends, especially female friendships. Like, Let's talk about how underrated female friendships are. Because I've made a few female friends lately. I've gotten in touch with um, older, like old friends of mine that I'd lost contact with. And I feel like I'm just at this phase where I am, where there's some sort of like a void, I feel that's there which can only be filled with female friendships you know there's just something about women that just they just get it you know there's just some things which men don't and I think it's really important to surround yourself with women and I don't know maybe it's because I'm getting closer to 30 I turned 28 in a month by the way which feels so weird to even think about because technically I'm still a teen mom. I feel like I'm still 18 and I don't know. I don't feel like a grown-up. <laughs> I don't feel like a grown-up. I don't feel like a parent still. And it's, it's just nice to, but, but also like I've also noticed the growth since I was actually 18. 10 years later, I do feel very different than the person I was. Okay, last little bit now. Okay, so um, sorry I had to do the rest of it off camera. Sankal needed his phone. So the front two are just like the money pieces that you really want to make sure curl away from your face. I think now it makes more sense now that you can actually see the curls going in this direction. You can see what I mean. Okay. And sometimes, just, just sometimes, the ends of them are still curly even though you don't want them to be. So what I do, this also doubles up as a straightener which I never use by the way except for these instances where I will just hold the end. And then if you struggle and then like all of your hair gets curly anyway, then I suggest that you just use um, 
that you just use a regular straightener and straighten the bottom of your curls for that wavy American look that we're talking about. All done. Right at the end, you can either use a hairbrush and just go like this, this, this. But I want my hair to last a bit. So I just use my hands, my fingers, and I just go through my hair like this. And then slowly through the day, I know that it will fall flat anyway. <laughs> so that's why I don't do, um, I don't brush my hair. This is it. This is the finished look. Um, yeah, we're, we're going out. I have, so these are the, actually you know what, I literally wear these earrings with everything. I love pearl drop earrings and I feel like they go with everything so I wear them with everything. They're just easy to like snap on but today we're gonna have fun. Today is about fun, fun, fun. So I wasn't sure which one to wear at once so I'm just gonna wear these ones. I think my mom got them from Goa or something. And you know what, as much as I've been complaining about the Houston heat, it's been doing wonders for my skin. Like I have nothing on except for a little bit of concealer. But see this like natural flush that the heat is giving me? Can't complain. Pretty happy about it. And this is the finished look. This is how I usually do my curls. This is how I do my waves. Um, yeah, if I, if I want like tighter curls, then I just take smaller sections and hold it as a curl for a bit longer but this is what I typically do. Unplug this before I leave so that I don't forget and accidentally cause a fire. This is it. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, please let me know in the comments. Um, be sure to subscribe, like this video and share it. And I hope you guys really liked hanging out with me and let me know if you want to see more of these videos because I love talking to you guys. Hi Vivi Ma, what's up? Want to say bye? My handsome little man, say bye! Bye! Bye bye! 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 bye. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> See you on the next one. <laughs> Watch a bit. <laughs>